Hello everybody, this is Dr. Kevin Connors with your 60 second cancer update. Today we're going to talk about a study that just came out out of Finland, Switzerland area in Europe that showed the vulnerability of glioblastoma, that's what they were studying in this study, and the li li uh, lysosomal membrane. Your lysosomes are little organelles inside of your cells, all your cells have these, and they uh, house a bunch of digestive enzymes that, when released, help break down and recycle cellular components. They are the cleanup of the cell. Well, the thought was if we could get these lysosomes to break down and thereby spill all their contents in the cell, they would effectively stimulate apoptosis and stimulate cell death. Well, this study focused on that. How could we weaken the lysosomal membrane? So um, what they did is they found that antihistamines, and in this, in this uh, case they use clemestine, which is an antihistamine that readily crosses the blood-brain barrier because they were dealing with a brain cancer, but they found that antihistamines would break down that ly lysosomal barrier and spill its enzymes, all the digestive enzymes that are in lysosomes, would spill it into the cells and stimulate apoptosis, thereby causing the cell to go through death. So they found that they could help kill cancer cells, glioblastoma cells, which are one of the most aggressive brain cancers we have today, by using a simple over-the-counter antihistamine. And the theory is, is that we could use uh, natural antihistamines as well. So using natural antihistamines, and I have multiple videos and, and, uh, and uh, blog posts on histamines in cancer, not just with brain cancer, but breast cancer and other cancers, that it's been proven that histamine is a stimulator to cancer because it protects that lysosomal barrier. So by breaking down that barrier, we are affect spilling digestive enzymes into the cell and causing cell death and helping. And this, the, the interesting thing about the study is that healthy cells were protected. It didn't have that same effect on healthy cells. Really cool. Won't read my blog about it. Um, it's another possible thing to add to our cancer protocol.